Let's say you have built your best project so far and it works just fine and you want to share it with your friend but in this form you cannot pack it, you, you cannot fit it on a PCB or a proof board because your dev board is so big and clunky. And you ask yourself, what can I do to fix it? What can I do to make it smaller? In this video I will show you a solution how you can minify your projects so it can fit on a PCB so you can design your own small form factor footprint for it. Let's get right into it. No matter if you use an Arduino Uno, or a Micro, or a Pico, if you're using a dev board, it contains a lot of components that you might not need in your project. Do you really need the UART interface for your project, or the 9 volt power supply, or this power regulator? Most of the time you don't, and the only part you need is this microcontroller, which is the 80 Mega 328 PPU in this case, in an SMD package. If you're familiar with this form factor of Arduino Unos, you might already experimented with pulling out a microcontroller from its socket. It's the same 80 Mega microcontroller that is on this board, just in a dual inline package. But you can buy all these microcontrollers separately for much less than these dev boards cost. And in this video we're gonna take a look at the simplest one of them, the 80 tiny 45 slash 85. They work the same way and they look the same way and they are the same size, just some internal differences. And we can see how we can program them using an Arduino. You can use an Arduino Uno Mega, Leonardo, Nano, or I don't know what kind of other Arduinos are there, using the Arduino IDE. If this video gets many positive interactions from the community, maybe I will make another video discussing the topic how we can program this microcontroller with other tools, not using the Arduino IDE, rather a little bit more professional tools, maybe a little bit of assembly, but who knows, we will see. So first open up your Arduino IDE on your computer, or if you don't have it, you can download it. And then connect your Arduino dev board via USB to your PC, and open up the following file. From File, Examples, Arduino ISP, Arduino ISP, and it will open it in a new window. And something that you want to keep in mind from this catch are these lines. These are the SPI protocol pin numbers that we will use to program our 80 tiny 45. But first, let's flash the code on our dev board. So select your COM port and your correct dev board version and flash the code onto the microcontroller. And it's down uploading. Now this is the point where we set up the hardware for programming. The first thing I recommend to do is to put a 10 microfarad cap between the reset and the ground pins on the Arduino, so it will prevent the dev board resetting itself. If you don't have 10 microfarads, the tolerance is pretty big, so you can go anywhere from 1 microfarad to 47, 50 or even 100. Or even, you can go without any capacitors. But for best result, I recommend to use a 10 microfarads, and it will not reset itself mysteriously. And as a next step, I connect up the power, pin 13 of the dev board, to the master clock of the 80 tiny 45 
Again, these are the pins I referred to in the code. If you scroll back to the Arduino as ISP code, you can see the pin mapping and even you can change it if you would like. But I will use the default. And you connect both the data pins, the pin number 12 on the Arduino, to the master in slave out of the 80Tiny45 and pin 11 to the master out slave in. And as a finishing touch, you connect 10 to reset of the 80Tiny45. And the programming setup is this simple. You don't need any external clocks, any external components. It's pretty simple. Just pin 13, 12, 11, 10 to the correspondent pins on the 80 tiny 45 power and for safety reset to ground with a 10 microfarad capacitor then i opened up my arduino ide at a code that i want to upload to my 80 tiny but you don't have to have anything here you just open up a new window and open the board manager menu and search for 80 tiny core and if it's not installed, then install it to your IDE. This will contain the board info and the bootloader for the 80 tiny microcontrollers. Once you installed it, you might have to restart your IDE. And when it's uh, done, open up a new sketch or your existing sketch. You can go to Tools and you can go to Board Selection, 80 tiny core. 80 tiny 45 85 opti boot and make sure that it's selected and next you have to select the programmer you have to go down in this menu and go to arduino as isp arduino as isp and make sure that it's selected you also have to set the target microcontroller as clock speed you go to the clock and you select 8 megahertz this will use the internal clock of the 80 tiny and this is the most stable option. You can select any of these if you know what you're doing and you can create your external clock or whatever you want. And after this you have to select if you're using 80 tiny 85 or 45. I'm using 80 tiny 45 so I take that. Then it's time to burn the bootloader onto our target microcontroller. Click burn bootloader and wait for the upload to finish. Once you burnt your bootloader, you can upload your code to your target microcontroller, just as you would do onto your Arduino. And there you have it, my sketch is on the 80 tiny 45 and it's running the LEDs just as I programmed it to. I hope that this was a helpful video and you can start experimenting with your 80 tiny 45 or 85. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more electronics content. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and as always, have a very wonderful day. Francis signs out.